Hello everyone, my name is Marcelo and in this video we will learn how to get our column values to a string variable. So uh, to start, let's create a data table. So let's use the activity will data table. And so let's create a simple data table with two columns. So it can be the first column name and the second column age, for example. And now let's input here some lines. So uh, let's save. And now let's create a variable that will store our data table. So let's here create the variable dt underscore users, for example. And now uh, let's learn how we can get our values of the first column, for example, to a string variable. So first let's use an assign activity. And now we will need a variable of type list. So let's create here on the variables panel, a new variable with the name list underscore users, for example. And now here on variable type, let's search for the type list. And now here, let's select the option. So here, system.collections.generic. So from this one, let's select here and here the type Let's select string. So now uh, we will assign to this variable of type list the values, the column values from our data table. So here let's call our new variable. And now here on the assign activity, let's uh, so enter the following expression. So first we need to call our data table that has the column that from which we want to get all values. And now dot as enumerable, dot select. Let's open parentheses and enter function and open parentheses again and inside the parentheses uh, enter row for example. And now uh, let's enter row dot fill and open parentheses again of string. And now uh, let's open parentheses again and indicate the column from which we want to get all values. So as we can see, it's the column name. So we have to indicate here uh, the name of the column. So let's first open double quotes and indicate the name. And then in the end, we just need to input here dot to list. So by this way, we will get all column values. So the column name, so we will get all values from this column to our list variable. So that's the first step. So now uh, let's use another assign activity and let's create a variable of type string so it can be str users and now let's call our variable and now we will assign to this variable all values that are stored on the list so let's open here so we will use the method string.join that allows us to concatenate values from a collection or array so let's enter here string.join and now let's open parentheses and first we need to indicate the separator of the values so let's for example here open double quotes and use the separator so a dash for example and then we need to pass so the collection or array so let's call here our variable list underscore users so let's try now to see what contains our string variable. Let's use a message box and let's call the variable and let's execute our project. So as we can see, all values from our column are here in a string variable. 
separated by dash. So it's working as expected. So we can now, for example, here use new lines separate. So for example, environment dot new line. And if we execute now, we will see that the values are separated by new lines. So if you like this video, please don't forget to leave a like on it so it can reach more people. And also, don't forget to subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any more RP tutorials. So I'll see you on the next video.